Did you know your Android phone has some really cool tricks up its sleeve that you might not be using yet? For instance, you can use your fingerprint to autofill login details or even lock Chrome's incognito tabs for extra privacy. And that's just the start. There is also a hidden setting that automatically turns on your Wi-Fi when you are near a familiar high-quality network. Plus, there is a secret reading mode that simplifies web pages into clean text panel, making them way easier on your eyes. So stick to the end because I'm diving into these lesser known but incredibly useful Android settings that you should turn on right now. Excited? So let's get started. Autofill on Android is super handy because it saves you from having to remember all your passwords. But there is a small catch. If someone else picks your phone, they could potentially access your apps and website just by using the autofill. But don't worry, there is a way to make it more secure. Just head over to your phone's setting, then find the section labeled password and accounts. From there, go into the autofill setting. Once you are in there, look for preferences and turn on the option for authenticate with biometrics. Now, every time you use autofill, Android will ask you to use your fingerprint to confirm it's really you. It's a simple step that makes the whole process a lot more secure. For those who will eventually upgrade to Android 14, there is a cool feature you might want to check out when you do make the switch. In Android 14, there is an option to turn on flash notifications. It's pretty straightforward. Just go into your settings and you will find this option. Once it is activated, whenever you will get a call, your phone's flash will blink. There is also an option to make your screen flash. Now this can be really handy especially if you are in a noisy environment or if your phone is on silent as it gives you a visual alert that something is happening. Have you ever find yourself toggling your phone's Wi-Fi off to save battery when you are out and about only to forget to turn it back on when you need it? It's a common frustration but Android has a smart solution that takes care of it for you. When you are roaming away from familiar network, your phone continuously search for Wi-Fi which can be a real battery drain. To counter this, Android includes a nifty feature that automatically turns Wi-Fi back on when it detects you near a frequently used network. To enable it, first open the setting app on your phone and tap on network and internet. From there, select the internet option and proceed to network preferences. In this menu, you will spot an option labeled turn on Wi-Fi automatically. Just toggle the switch on and you are good to go. With this feature enabled, your phone intelligently manages its Wi-Fi connection, reactivating Wi-Fi when you are close to a known high-quality network. It's a small setting that can make a big difference in how you use your phone every day. So there is this cool feature on Android called Auto Archive Apps that not many people know about. It's somewhat similar to the offload app feature on iPhones. Now what it does is, it removes apps that haven't been used in a while from your device, but it smartly keeps all your app data. So when you reinstall the app, it's like you have never removed it in the first place. All your settings and data are right there waiting for you. This is fantastic for freeing up some space without losing your info. To turn this on, just open the Play Store on your phone. Then head to the setting by tapping on your profile icon at the top right. Select setting and go to general. Now you will find the auto archive apps option there. Just switch it on and you are all set. Did you know that your Android smartphone has a hidden gem called reading mode? It's incredibly useful, especially if you love to read or need to concentrate on your text without distractions. This mode can transform web pages and even some apps into simple text panels that are much easier on the eyes. You can tailor reading mode to your preferences too. It allows you to adjust settings like contrast, text size and font style. You can even turn on text to speech and control the speed of the narration. If you need, you can also rewind, fast forward and adjust the reader's voice making it easier to follow along and absorb the information. Even if you don't think you will use it often, it's a great tool to have at your fingertip. To get started, just download the reading mode app from the Play Store. Once it's installed, you will find that it integrates seamlessly with the accessibility option on your device. Give it a try and see how it changes your reading experience. If you often get those two-factor authentication messages on your phone, they can pile up pretty quickly and clutter your inbox and honestly, it can feel a little risky to have them just sitting there. But there is a good news. If you're using the official Google Messages app, it has a handy feature that lets you automatically delete those OTP messages after 24 hours. And here is how you can set it up. Just open the Messages app and tap on your profile icon at the top. Then head into Messages setting and look for Message Organization. In there, you will find an option to toggle on auto-delete OTPs after 24 hours. Just switch that on and you're all set. Now those OTP messages will automatically clear out after a day. So your inbox stays tidy and a bit more secure. 
Incognito mode in Chrome is pretty awesome for browsing without leaving a trace. No cookies, no history, nothing can be used to track you. I use it quite a bit myself and it's super reliable. But there is one little hiccup. If you leave an incognito tab open and someone else get their hands on your phone, they can see what you are looking at. If you really want to beef your privacy, I got a neat trick for you. First open up Chrome on your Android phone, tap on the three dot to go to setting then head into privacy and security. Now if your app is up to date, you should see an option called lock incognito tabs when you close Chrome, just turn that feature on. With this setting activated, Chrome will require your authentication like a fingerprint or a password to access incognito tabs after you have closed the app. Pretty sleek right? This way your incognito tabs stays as private as they are meant to be. You know how sometimes the lowest brightness setting on your phone still feels like it's blindingly bright? Well, there is a handy Android setting that solves this exact problem. All you need to do is head into your phone setting once there navigate to the accessibility section. In there you will find an option called extra dim, just turn it on and this will allow your screen to dim even more than the usual setting allow. What's even cooler is that this enables a quick setting toggle for the same feature. So whenever you feel like your screen is too bright, you can quickly swipe down to access your quick setting and adjust the dimness right from there. Plus you can even tweak the intensity of the dimness to suit your need, which is really useful. This way you can get your phone's display right without straining your eyes at night. Let's face it, pretty much nobody likes hearing that call recording announcement during phone calls on Android. Luckily, there is a workaround that lets you record calls without that announcement interrupting. Now here is how you can do that. Just open the phone app, then head into settings and look for the call recording option. In there you will see a new setting called play audio tone instead of disclaimer. Just switch that on and instead of visual voice announcement, there will be just a simple beep when you start recording a call. If you want to turbocharge your web browser with a simple tweak, there is a cool feature in Chrome that might have flown under your radar. Right next to the address bar is a customizable button that can do much more than just open new tabs. To personalize this button, jump into Chrome setting, look for toolbar shortcut and make sure it is turned on. Here is where the magic happens. You can tweak this button to suit your browsing habits perfectly. You can set it to automatically adapt its function based on your most frequent actions in the browser which is pretty smart. Or you can figure it to consistently perform specific tasks like opening new tabs, sharing web pages quickly or even conducting voice searches. It's a neat way to streamline your online activities and make your browser work smarter for you. So guys, these are some of the most important Android settings that you should definitely turn on. So which of the previously mentioned settings or feature you like the most? Do you know of any other feature that we should have added to this list? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.